Colorado State coach Mike Bobo talking after practice Thursday about getting Richard Higgins involved more in the game plan. Uh, really been practicing well the last uh, four to five weeks. Uh, had another good practice today. Seems focused and locked in, and I see him uh, really getting his speed back and his strength. You know, uh, when I say that, when you miss a lot of practice time, you know, you lose speed, you, lose, you build up strength uh, with routes you run. So I see him getting stronger and able to practice longer. Coach Friend said, well, obviously Nevada runs a lot of man coverage, but he's still got to beat those guys to get open. I mean, it gives him an advantage, but he still has to work. Is he going to be someone that you can utilize offensively in this bowl game? Well, you know, we ha we, we obviously have a plan to get him the ball uh, and move him around and put him in some different spots. Uh, but then you got to see how Nevada is going to play play us. Uh, when they, you know, they're going to be concerned, number one, I think, is to stop the run, and number two is to probably help uh, over Shard Higgins. So you know, we got to see how they line up. Uh, we'll have an initial plan, and then we got to be able to adjust uh, to get him the ball. But he's always a, uh, a primary focus for us of trying to, trying to get him some touches. When you go back and look at Nick's games, uh, where he's been good and where he's struggled, have you seen a common component in those? I'd say, one, lose, having something not go well early on uh, and losing a little bit of confidence and not trusting you know, the plan and trusting his fundamentals uh, and then start aiming the ball. Uh, I think if we tend to get him off to a good start or he gets himself off to a good start with his uh, couple completions here or there and then the running game working, he tends to play a little bit better. Uh, you know, and we were talking about it today, we missed a couple. It's the, the routine play, the gift where we've you know, called a good play that's a, a completion that we got that we got to hit. And not, it's not necessarily a nine route or a go route. It may be a neck and down the flat, uh, an out route where he's got to do a better job of hitting those consistently. Uh, you know, and that helps him gain confidence. Have you seen him improve in these bowl practices? Uh, yeah, Nick's done a nice job. Nick's really improved uh, the whole year. Nick is a focused young man, uh, very intelligent, uh, understands what we're trying to do. Uh, he's not there yet, but uh, he's got a grasp of it. Uh, he just got to play better consistently, uh, and that comes with time, and that comes with fundamentals and, and footwork, and then you know understanding the offense at a, at another level than he does now. And I think everything will uh, come easier to him. Has it confounded you a little bit? It's like going into the Fresno game, he'd been really accurate and been on target, and then. Just early on, you could tell he was just missing a little bit. Yeah, you know, and you know, we were all a little bit off uh, mm -hmm. that game. I, I was off a little bit and calling some plays. Uh, you know, we started out, I think, he completed the first three, and then you know, we had a neck. And, you know, mm -hmm. we, we uh, this is a bootleg, and had Kevon really had them all fooled, and all he's got to do is give it to him, and it might walk in for a touchdown. And uh, you know, maybe missing that one, you know, got him a little, you know, start to aim the ball, but you know. You know, I want him to hit every pass and hit the routine plays. Uh, you know, and, and those are the ones we got to complete. Is sometimes we get pressure, they play a different coverage where, you know, sometimes that's where your incompletions come and, you, you know, where you got to have the throwaways. Uh, but at the same time, you still got to have confidence in yourself to, to go out and rip the next one. And, uh, you know, I think he's gained some confidence. He's got to continue to work on that. Uh, but he is, uh, you know, give him credit, you know, the, the bowl practice is this. Uh, uh, the last two weeks, uh, he's been out there. He's, he's been on fire, and uh, you know, even though really doesn't matter who's there watching the recruiting weekend, he's worried about himself, which is good to know. He looked healthier today, guys. Some guys that have been in red last week are not anymore. Yeah, I'd, I'd say I'd say we are a lot healthier. Uh, you know, besides Trent, uh, we were a little bit sluggish today, but we got off the practice field last night at 9:15 or 9:20, and then it was a quick turnaround. A uh, guy that really looks a lot healthier to me is Kevon Cartwright. He looks more like he did in camp. Uh, you know, as the season went on, he got a little banged up and beat up. And, uh, you know, I told him he looked, moved around like me a little bit, uh, an old guy. But he looked fresh yesterday. Today we were a little sluggish. Uh, so we'll have, you know, basically 24 hours before the next practice. So hopefully the guys will get some rest. I know they got finals uh, and be able to finish strong with three good practices. Jordan and uh, but having Jordan Vade and Xavier Williams out of red. Yeah, that's true. And Xavier's been practicing for a week. Uh, the red was more precautionary, so nobody hit him. Uh, Jordan just had some back spasms from from one day. But uh, I really feel good about Jordan. I mean, yeah, Jordan the whole time, and it's good to have Xavier back. Uh, he looks good, and you know Xavier's that guy that uh, you know has a lot of potential uh, in my mind, and you know it's like. Uh, we always told me potential means you haven't done anything yet, uh, you know. But we get that's our job as coaches to get him 
to reach his full potential because he has a lot of ability and uh, it's good to get him going and I'd like him to finish out on a strong note going into this offseason.